So the day is finally here. You can now upgrade your Windows 10 to Windows 11, providing your computer supports it. So in this video, I will be showing you how you can upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11 using the Windows 11 installation assistant. But before you go ahead and just download the Windows 11 installation assistant, you might actually be able to upgrade to Windows 11 through checking for updates. So to do this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon, then click on settings, and now click on update and security. And if you're able to upgrade to Windows 11, you will have the option here. But also go ahead and just click on the check for updates button just to be sure. So if you don't have the option, you now need to click on the link that's in the description below. So the first thing you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. So once you're on this page, we now have three different options. You can download the Windows 11 installation assistant, or you can create a Windows 11 installation media, or you can download the Windows 11 ISO. So in this video, like I said, I will be showing you how to upgrade to Windows 11 using the installation assistant. But before you just go ahead and upgrade, it's very important to ensure that your computer does support Windows 11. So you will need to run a PC health check. So to do this, all you need to do is click on this link here where it says PC health check. In fact, I will put a link in the description below to this page. Once you're on this page, we now need to click on download PC health check app and you then need to go save file. Once the file's downloaded, you then need to run the file you will then end up with a window that looks like this. As you can see, it's currently getting things ready. So we can now go ahead and press finish to open up Windows PC Health Check. We now need to click on the Check Now button and we then need to click on See All Results. And as you can see, my PC does meet the Windows 11 requirements and everything has a green tick. So we're all good. I can now upgrade my Windows 10 computer to Windows 11. So you can as well, as long as you have all the green ticks. But before you do go ahead and upgrade, I would also recommend that you back up any important documents on your computer, just in case anything was to go wrong. So once you've done that, you can now choose which option you want to do to upgrade to Windows 11. Like I said in this video, we're going to be using the Windows 11 installation assistant. So we now need to click on the download now button and go save file. Once the file's finished downloading, we then need to run the file. You will now end up with a window that looks like this, and as you can see, it has reassured us again that our PC does meet the minimum system requirements. So once you're happy with all this, and you're happy with the terms, then you can go ahead and press accept and install. If you're not happy, obviously you will have to press decline. So I'm going to hit accept and install now. So it's now beginning to download Windows 11 to my computer. Depending on how powerful your computer is will depend on how long this will take and also depends on how good your internet connection is. Once the installation assistant has finished downloading and doing its bits and bobs, you will have a window that looks like this and you will have the option to restart now or wait for 30 minutes. So I'm now going to go ahead and restart but it's important that you do save any work that you have open at the moment because we're about to do the upgrade to Windows 11. So this is the last time you will see Windows 10. So it's now time to click the Restart Now button. So say goodbye to Windows 10. However, if you do decide that you want to roll back to Windows 10, I will pop a link in the description below showing you how you can do that as well. And there you have it. As you can see, I am now on Windows 11. So that's how you upgrade to Windows 11 using the installation assistant. I hope this tutorial has helped you out. If it has and you do want to see more Windows 11 tutorials, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also like this video if it helped you.